I said, look, man, do not touch my mother. I said, I don't care what you do. But if you put your hands on her, I swear to God, I will kill you, dude. I said, don't hurt my mom. Mm -hmm. You know? I said, your last husband did it. Please don't hurt my mom. So here we are in Baltimore, Maryland. So we're here, what's your name, sir? Kelly. Kelly? Yeah. Kelly, are you homeless? Yes. How long have you been homeless for? About two weeks ago. Two weeks? Yeah. So tell me tell me your story. How did you get to where you are now? Well, me and my wife split up and uh, I had nowhere to go, so I kind of like left the house. And, and when you talk, yeah. the, talk the speak up a little I, bit. I, le I left the house, yeah. so I mean, I've been calling her trying to get back together with her, but you know, she really don't want to answer her phone right now, so I got to kind of wait it out, you know, but I think we'll be okay. I mean, nowhere mm -hmm. 14 years. 14 years. Yeah. And she's got one leg. It kind of stinks for her to have me that way. She walks around on crutches all the time in a wheelchair, you know. I got to push her in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. You know, whenever we go out and do things, sometimes, it's, it, I mean, it's rough on me, you know, pushing her. But we're, she's going to get a little cart when I'm little driving carts, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So hopefully that should come in the next day or two. We already ordered it. I already paid for it. Mm -hmm. Plus grand. Yeah. And, and what was the incident? You say you was working construction. So yeah. how did you end up becoming homeless? You, you were well, at work. Well, yeah, I was working. Then the guy ran out of work and I ran out of money, you know. So mm -hmm. I pay bills, man, you know. It's like yeah. everybody else. I pay my rent, it's $20,000 a month, you mm -hmm. know. Um, food, things like that. Um, I mean, it's just, it's just life, man, period. Life, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, I'm not really on the street. kind of stay with a buddy of mine once in a while. I mean, I slept that side. A couple buddies that live in the area. That's why I'm in the area. Mm -hmm. I got friends over in here, you yeah. know. And uh, cause I used to live right down the street here. I met a lot of people, you know, mm -hmm. talking, whatnot, sitting in the bar, a couple beers. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> That's about all I do. I don't do drugs or anything. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I just try to make money to, to, to live off of. That's all. So, how long? So when you come out here to panhandle, how long do you panhandle for? I, it all depends on what kind of money I make. Depends. Cause I gotta pay my buddy, my buddy to live there. Mm -hmm. A couple of hours. And I gotta eat, you know, I gotta make sure I have enough food for cigarettes, I mean, money for cigarettes, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It takes a minute. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it don't take five minutes. I mean, I've been out there three hours. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, yeah. I've been out for an hour and you made nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, I ain't got shit in my pocket. I see you found this medium. Why Why right here? Why this medium right there? Because people go to Giant, here they're coming out, you know. Like yesterday, I came up here, I made $30 pretty quick, you know, mm -hmm. within like an hour, you know? It was okay, you know, so I went down my buddy, gave him, gave him his money, made some cigarettes. He fed me actually yesterday. Okay. You know, so it worked out pretty good yesterday. How long have you known your, is like a friend from like oh, childhood? Dude, I've known him for fuck, since we So you're little? Oh my God, yeah. I've known him all my life, one of my best friends, you know. But like I said, his wife, bitch, bitch, she knows us because we're, we're like this. Yeah. Me and my brother. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, he's my brother. I mean, he ain't really my brother, but he's my I mean, brother. He's not blood, but he's your brother. Right. He, he, he's one of my old riding buddies. He's trying to fight together. Mm -hmm. I got 80, I got 85 roaster. Oh, yeah. I saw your Harley Davidson. Yeah, I, right? I have a bike. Okay. But right now, um, I got to change the sprocket on it when the teeth are missing. So I can't, I don't want to ride it like that. I don't want to mess it up. Mm -hmm. It's a rare bike. I've already been offered $18,000 for it. I told him no. Because mm -hmm. the bike's historic. It's a beautiful bike, man. It's got yeah. a big gas tank on it. I'll take it to Florida, I'll take it to California, mm. you know, then my, I'm, oh my gosh, I, mean, I love riding, man. I always, I kind of wanted, I always wanted to get into like, Dude, I like Harleys, you know. if you ever decide to buy a motorcycle, don't buy a rice burn, buy a Harley. I was thinking about the Fat Bobs. The Fat Boys? I like the Fat, with the Fat Bob 104. Yeah, the, the Fat well, Boy. Yeah, the Fat Boys. Yeah. I'm, I'm a tall rider, right, I'm a right, big yeah, dude, yeah, so I'm yeah. trying I mean, to think of like Dude, good, if, if you, oh man. Uh, it, it's a sensation like you won't believe. Yeah. Right. Especially when you get a big stretch of highway and there's nobody around you feeling the wind. Oh man, it's like, <laughs> you know, wind in your hair. I mean, there's some states you don't need to wear a helmet, like Pennsylvania. Okay. And there's other, I got a, a card. And, and those roses, like, go beautiful roads. Oh Pennsylvania man, yeah. Roads. Yeah, but like I have a card that tells you what state that you can have your helmet on. Mm -hmm. or not, you know, keep it in my wallet. Whenever we go to Pennsylvania, you should cross the port, take a helmet. How long you been riding for? Oh my gosh, you know, I was like, 16, you know. What made you get into like uh, bike, like riding bikes or Harley Davidson? Um, just my friends. Your always friends? getting me out to ride motorcycles as kids, you know, little dirt bikes, you know. And and then when I got 23, I bought my first Harley. I went mm -hmm. four of them. 
Yeah, you own four? I've owned the four of them and sold them. You own yeah, that's kinda, that's when, dope. I, when I found the one, when I found that roadster, I stopped buying them. That was your bike, yeah. This is oh this God, is my yeah. bike. Yeah, this is mine. Yeah. What about it is so different from other bikes? That, like, I, I I don't know. It's just the feel of the bike. It fits me perfect. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find a bike because I'm a little guy. Yeah. I'm not real big. And the bike doesn't weigh a whole lot. You know, like a 1340 or, or a um or a Road King or something like that. They're very big bikes. I own a Road King, I got rid of it. I couldn't hold it. Couldn't mm -hmm. handle it. It's too big. You know? Yeah. So and uh, the one thousand is like perfect, you know, for the RPMs and riding and things like that. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's at um my wife's brother's garage right now. Okay. Up in Owings Mills. Yeah. So I mean I still own the bike. Luckily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I mean what uh, I mean if I get back to work, man, I get my shit together, I'll be okay. You know. Mm -hmm. That just takes time, man. Yeah, you know? it takes time. Yeah, really big time, you know. Did you ever so you said, so you lost your job. How long has it been since I, without your job? Two weeks. I two mean, weeks. I should be able oh, to get so back. Oh, so it's been two, uh, yeah, it's, it's not, it hasn't been long. I mean, this is, I've done this before. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us are survivor, bro. You know what uh -huh. I mean? Four survivors, period. If, if, if there's a way to make a dollar, I'm going to do it, you know, mm -hmm. period. Um, the last check I got, because I only worked two days a couple weeks ago, wasn't a whole lot. So if it would have been a full week, I had that money right now, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, I'm just broke. You know? Do you want to find, like, do you see, you want to go into another, like, working construction again, or do you want to try something else? Nah, actually, my body's so bad, I just filed for disability. Say it again? I just filed for disability. Disability, okay. And, I mean, my, I, I used to be a carpet man by trade. Say it again? Carpet. I do carpet, ceramic carpet. tile. Carpet, okay. Okay, so I did that for 30 years. Mm -hmm. And my body just, I got a missing disc in my back, you know, my body just kills me. How, how old are you, from my action? 56. 56? Yeah. You, you, don't, you don't look bad 56. Thanks, man. You got all your hair yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Well, like? I, fortunately, yeah. Um, my, my brother uh, lost his hair because he was like, from my second father, <clears throat> he lost his hair too. He was German. Mm -hmm. My brother shaves his head now, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and he, he, he at me, I was like, hey, you fucking hair, you know? <laughs> Does he ride bikes too? No, uh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, he owns a business, a food business. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, he, he bit at me all the time because he wishes he had hair. Yeah. Because he <laughs> lost his hair. <laughs> Do you have, you have a lot of family here in Baltimore? Yeah, all my family's here. All your family's in Baltimore? My mom lives in uh, Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. My brother lives in Pikesville. Oh, no, no, Owings Mills. Owings Mills. Yeah, my brother. And uh, my other brother lives in Frederick. My sister lives in Florida. Mm -hmm. You know, but my dads are dead. Okay. Actually, all three of my fathers are dead. Did well, they, they die like older, old no, age or when you were younger? One hung himself. Oh, wow. I'm sorry to hear that. Nah, I mean, he was an asshole anyway. Seriously. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was. My mom's second husband. He'd be on his kid, be with a two by four and shit, man. Mm -hmm. kid. I mean, it was devastating to be with that man. Mm -hmm. He was a drunk asshole, period. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, if I was a little bigger back then, I would fight him. But I was a little kid, man. You mm -hmm. know? And it's hard when you're a little kid and some, some big yeah. old dude, 60 something, 300 pounds beating on you. You know what I mean? Yeah. What the f? You know? Mm hmm. And when she got with her third husband, I was a little older then. I said, Look, man, you're not touching my mother. I said, I don't care what you do. But if you put your hands on her, I swear to God, I will kill you, dude. I said, Don't hurt my mom. Mm -hmm. You know? I said, The last husband did it. Please don't hurt my mother. Mm -hmm. You know? And I, I, I respect that man. He was a good guy. Good guy you know? They, it just didn't work out. Man. Yeah. And you were saying, um, you said your girl, is it, you know where you're, the whereabouts of your girl right now? Uh, she's, she's, she's uh, uh, well, I, I said I lost my money since I'm not there. She's still at the house. You okay. I mean? She's um, right up the street here, not far. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I'm going to see her down in the house going to work out. Or uh, actually, she left a message this morning on my voicemail. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'll see how it works out. How do people treat you out here in the media? And do you, people, are they mean to you? No, I mean, nobody, not, not too many people saying anything. You know? I mean, they hand me money, ask me how I'm doing, what's going on, you know, things like that. And uh, I just tell them, look, man, I'm just, I'm just on the street right now. Yeah. You know? I know you've only been here two weeks. Any, like, acts of kindness that stood out to you from yeah, anybody? Yeah, somebody gave me a $50 bill, yo, $50 bill? Yeah, it was real cool, you know. Helped me out a lot. Uh, actually, I didn't pay him for two days because of that, mm -hmm. you know? Pay my buddy a couple of dollars, got some food, watch some TV, and chill out. You know? That's dope. So. And just to leave things off, any any words of advice or anything you want to say to the world? Any shout outs to anybody you oh, want to talk? Oh man, just uh, 
you know, just be safe out there and watch your ass, that's all. Watch your back, you know what I'm saying? I mean, because it's a crazy world nowadays. Yeah. People getting shot all over the place. Especially in Baltimore, man. Yeah, especially. 300 some murders last year. Yeah. You know, a year before that, the same amount. Come on, man. You know, I mean, what, 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 what are they doing down there? Yeah. You know? I mean, it's crazy, man. You got to worry about going into a city that I'm from and worry about getting killed. You know? That's bad. Yeah. For real. Seriously. Appreciate you, Kelly. All right, man. bro. You've been seen and you've been heard. Thank you.